Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. A lot of people have contacted me and asked about this, and that makes me want to discuss it in this video. The claim of a rare footage from an unknown private film collection archive, showing objects and ancient devices discovered during the Nazi expeditions in Egypt and Antarctica, is certainly intriguing. There is no doubt that many artifacts have been looted in previous wars and conflicts throughout history, and it is not entirely implausible that such items were taken by the Nazis during their expeditions. However, the fact that this footage has been kept hidden for so long raises questions about its authenticity and the motives of those who are now choosing to release it. It is unclear why this footage has only just come to light now and why it has not been made public sooner. Furthermore, the suggestion that the objects and devices shown in the footage are still shrouded in secrecy only adds to the intrigue. If these items were genuinely discovered by the Nazis during their expeditions, it is possible that they could shed new light on our understanding of ancient civilizations and their technological capabilities. However, it is important to remain skeptical until further evidence is presented. Without more information about the source and provenance of the footage, it is difficult to assess its credibility. It will be interesting to see how this story develops and whether any more information comes to light in the coming weeks and months. But, in my personal opinion, it's just an AI images. Correct me if I'm wrong. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. The El Gem Museum in Tunisia is home to some of the most breathtaking ancient artifacts in the world. Among these treasures is a fragment of a mosaic floor from Casa da Africa, dating back to the 3rd century AD. The fragment features a depiction of a giant towering over an elephant, a sight that is both awe-inspiring and perplexing. Looking closely at the mosaic, one cannot help but wonder. Who or what is this giant? Equally fascinating is the elephant in the mosaic. Not only is it depicted as being smaller than the giant, but it also has large tusks, indicating that it is not a baby elephant. Furthermore, the fact that the mosaic is only a fragment raises more questions about what the full picture may have looked like. The use of mosaic art in ancient times was not only decorative, but also served as a means of communication. Mosaics often depicted scenes from everyday life, mythological stories, and religious beliefs. They were used to convey important messages and to commemorate important events. Therefore, the presence of a giant and an elephant in this particular mosaic must have held some significance to the people of Casa da Africa. As we marvel at the beauty and complexity of this ancient artifact, we are left with many unanswered questions. What other secrets does the El Gem Museum hold? What stories do these artifacts tell us about the people who created them and the world they lived in? What do you think? In the remote town of Naryanmar in June 2020, an incredible discovery was made when an ancient ship, believed to be around 10 meters long, thawed out of the permafrost. The ship's age was confirmed by the use of forged nails fastening the remains of the hull. But what makes this find even more fascinating is the discovery of animal bones found above the hull. As you look at the black soil surrounding the ship, it appears to be humus, but there is no such layer of humus in these latitudes. 
Narian Mar is situated in the Tundra Zone, which is a subarctic area with permafrost. The discovery suggests that there was once a big boat on the bank of an ancient river that was subsequently covered by a mudflow. But the question remains, can scientists accurately date the ship? The iron nails fastening the hull suggest that the find is only a few hundred years old. However, permafrost is known to be tens of thousands of years old, making it difficult to pinpoint an accurate age. Does this mean that scientists will have to accept the theory of a recent cataclysm and the formation of permafrost, or will they need to shift the timing of the onset of the Iron Age? Could this discovery lead to more insights about ancient shipbuilding techniques? What kind of animals were the bones found above the hull from, and what was their significance to the ship's history? How did the ship end up in the permafrost, and what led to its discovery after all these years? What do you think? The buried mystery of the ancient world has been uncovered in the form of the arm of Hercules. What secrets does this fragment hold? What is the significance of this discovery for the history of Jordan? Is there more to this statue than meets the eye? The arm of Hercules stands tall, a testament to the lost art of an unknown civilization. What inspired the creation of this masterpiece? How did the artists of this civilization manage to create such a magnificent work of art? What other wonders might be waiting to be discovered beneath the sands of time? The arm of Hercules may be just a small piece of a larger puzzle, but what could the complete statue look like? Who was Hercules to the civilization? What other myths and legends might be hidden within this forgotten civilization? The discovery of the arm of Hercules raises more questions than answers, but one thing is certain. The past has a way of revealing itself when we least expect it. What other treasures might be waiting to be uncovered in the ancient city of Amon? What other lost civilizations might be waiting to be rediscovered? As we ponder the mysteries of the arm of Hercules, one thing is clear. The past is full of surprises. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.